let me show you my super simple vagus nerve stimulation protocol that I've been doing every day for years now and that has helped me feel more calm, less anxious and just generally more balanced. It also supported my recovery from chronic fatigue syndrome and improved sympathetic dominance. Really powerful stuff that is based on proven techniques that will directly activate your vagus nerve and help you do the same. Okay, so before I show you the protocol, let's quickly recap what the vagus nerve actually does and why we want to stimulate it. What you have to understand is that your autonomic nervous system has two main branches. The sympathetic branch, which is your fight or flight response, and the parasympathetic branch, which is your rest and digest mode. Ideally, these two systems are in balance. You react to stress when needed, and then you return to a calm, relaxed state. But for a lot of us today, that balance is completely gone. Instead of switching back to calm after a stressful event, your body stays stuck and high alert. That's what we call sympathetic dominance, where the stress side of your nervous system is always running the show. And when that happens long term, your body and brain pay the price. Some of the most common symptoms here include things like muscle tension, jaw clenching or tight shoulders, racing thoughts and anxiety, restless sleep or trouble falling asleep, digestive issues, and feeling tired but wired. So exhausted, but unable to fully relax. And this is where the vagus nerve comes into play. It's the main highway to your parasympathetic nervous system. Stimulating it will help your parasympathetic response to take over again and reduce the sympathetic dominance gradually until both systems are in balance again. I actually got into vagus nerve stimulation a few years ago when I crashed with chronic fatigue syndrome. It hit me from one day to the next and came with crazy headaches, all kinds of weird symptoms that no one could really explain, and of course, persistent fatigue that kept getting worse and worse. I talk about my recovery from it in many other videos, and it also included changing my diet, supplements, and some other things. But in the beginning, the problem was that I didn't tolerate these changes. Even super small supplement doses had my nervous system acting up and being overstimulated. That's when I knew I first had to calm down my body before I could do anything else. And that was what got me into a vagus nerve stimulation. There are many proven direct and indirect stimulation techniques out there, like progressive muscle relaxation, massages, music and singing, as well as slow movements like yoga or Tai Chi. But to be honest, I didn't like most of them or didn't want to do them every day because it's crucial to do vagus nerve stimulation every day because consistency is what retrains your nervous system to stay in a calm state. So this is just like working out. The effect builds over time and won't come from one day to the next. This is also why it's so important that you find something that is simple to do and that you actually like. It should be something that you can see yourself doing every day or at least a few times per week. That's why I'm not a big fan of super complicated protocols because they look great on paper and get a lot of attention but most people end up abandoning them after a few days, which then defeats the purpose. So let me give you my protocol that I've been following for years now. I will give you three variations of it, depending on how much time you have. The first version is literally just three to five minutes of slow breathing. Slow breathing activates the vagus nerve by stretching receptors in your lungs that send calming signals to your brain. This is especially true during long exhalations which directly stimulate vagal activity and slow your heart rate. The slower and deeper you breathe, the more you're telling your body that it's safe. Over time, this kind of breathing increases heart rate variability, which is one of the best markers of a well-functioning vagus nerve. There are many breathing exercises out there, but the most beginner-friendly is probably two to one breathing. Here, all you have to do is exhale twice as long as you inhale, that's it. For example, Inhale through your nose for three seconds, then exhale slowly through your mouth for six seconds, then pause for a moment, and then repeat again. Again, this works because your vagus nerve slows down your heart rate when you exhale. The longer you exhale, the more vagus nerve activity you generate. If you want a slightly more advanced version, you can also do 478 breathing. Here, you inhale through your nose for four seconds, then hold your breath for seven seconds, and then exhale through your mouth for eight seconds. This one is a bit more intense, so don't overdo it when you're starting out. 
You can do four breath cycles and definitely stop if you feel lightheaded. Both of these are great and they can also be done when you're under acute stress, for example, when you're sitting in traffic or are in a work meeting. So this is the first variation. If you're a complete beginner, you can just start by doing three to five minutes of slow breathing without anything else. Kind of like brushing your teeth, you want this to become a habit. If you have a little more time, then the next step would be to add 10 to 20 minutes of guided meditation. This can also be super simple and I have two meditations on my phone that I alternate between every day. If you don't have one, you can just search for guided meditation or vagus nerve relaxation meditation here on YouTube and then use that. I meditate lying down and it's also what I recommend for most beginners. Many people try to meditate sitting up and then get distracted because their body is uncomfortable. Lying down helps you avoid this and it's also great for letting go of muscle tension. Once your body feels supported and safe, then your nervous system will definitely follow. If you're new to meditation, then the most important thing is probably not worrying about doing it right. Just let the voice guide you and let your mind wander if it wants to. The main thing is to show your body that it's okay to relax and just be still. That's what parasympathetic activation is all about. Great, the last part of my protocol is optional and it includes a TVNS device called Neurosim. And the company behind Neurosim was nice enough to sponsor this video. TVNS stands for transcutaneous vagus nerve stimulation. It's a fancy way of saying stimulating your vagus nerve through the skin, usually via your ear where the vagus nerve is very easily accessible. The way you do this is by attaching a small electrode to a specific spot on your ear and it then sends a gentle electrical pulse to stimulate your vagus nerve. I've been using this device for a very long time now and I like it a lot. It's on the expensive side, but it's the device with the most clinical research behind it and very straightforward to use. All you have to do is apply a bit of moisture to the tragus of your left ear. Then you clip on the earpiece and the cable should go over and behind your ear to keep the electrodes in place and then you turn it on and slowly increase the energy level until you feel a light tingling sensation in your ear. This is a sign that the current is flowing and that your parasympathetic nervous system is activated. After you hit the enter button, the device will count down from 60 minutes, which is what I use every day, but some people prefer two sessions of 30 minutes or something similar. The company recommends doing this in the morning, but it can make you feel a little tired. So I don't like using it in the morning and prefer to just have it on for 60 minutes in the evening. Also, you can use this device during your normal daily activities. For example, I often cook dinner with it or just use it while watching TV after I'm done with work. Studies have shown positive effects on symptoms like depressive thoughts, anxiety, headaches, sleep issues, and even chronic issues like post-viral symptoms and persistent fatigue. If you're interested in the research behind this, I will link a list of the studies that were done just with the Neurosim device. I've recommended this thing to quite a few people already and also have a full review on it that will be linked in the description. It was recorded before they started sponsoring any of my videos and again, it's something that I still use every day. If you want to test it out, here's what I recommend you do. First, use the link in my description for a small discount and two, make sure to take advantage of the 30-day trial. Like I said before, most people notice benefits right away, but there are also some non-responders and you will see if you are one within a few days. So then you just return the device and we'll get your money back. And that's pretty much my complete vagus nerve protocol. Three to five minutes of breathing exercises that you can also do when you're under acute stress, then 10 to 20 minutes of guided meditation while lying down, and lastly, 60 minutes of neurosim. This doesn't have to be right after your meditation, and can really be at any time of the day, depending on what you like best. If you are pressed for time or just getting into this, start with just the breathing exercises. Every one of us has five minutes and after a few days, you will already start to feel slight improvements. Then it will be easier to also add the meditations and go from there. It's pretty crazy how this has become a core part of my health routine and how some people react when I tell them that I've been doing this every day for a few years now. Because it's so simple, it doesn't feel like work to me at all, and I actually look forward to it. That's basically the core message of this video. Find something that helps you actively relax and then do it regularly. Thanks for watching and take care of your nervous system. It will definitely thank you for it.